Um, God well, this damn. is perfect, though. 27 minutes in. We're finally getting to prospects. Let's yes, just we'll move the on. Off, hard to pivot. Um, yep. We're just going to go right away to your first love, Caden Bank here. What's going on there? He's just continuing to light it up this season for Cam Loops. Um, lost in all the chaos of last night. I was like, I had that game on, the Cam Loops first Victoria game on, like in another tab on a different screen, but I just like couldn't stop watching. But every time I'd go to that game, like another goal had been scored. And I was like, Jesus Christ. It was 10 nothing after the second period, by the way. Um, I think it was 10, might have been like nine. Uh, but he puts up six points, three goals, three assists last night, plus eight. I don't think I've ever seen a player plus eight in my life. Like, it just doesn't – it does not make sense to me. Like, I don't know how that's possible. Um, but, I mean, he just lit it up. And this first goal was sick. Like, just an absolute walking. And then he just put one short side. But, like, the thing with a couple of his plays last night, it's just like the skating is just on another level. Like, it's, I'm not sitting here and saying he's an elite skater, but like, that was one of the things where it's, you know, that's one thing that could really kind of hold him back from being a productive NHL player in terms of like producing offense, just like that speed, whatever. It was like choppy. Like, it just wasn't great. Like, he was not able to create any kind of separation just with the stride. And I do think like the last two years, it's come a long way. And I mean, now he just like, even like the lateral shifts again, the first goal last night, like the footwork was just crazy. And um, so he just looks like a different player. And again, I like obviously when he's having the season he's having, he's on the team he's on, like you're going to be a confident player to begin with. But I mean, he's trying things that he never, like he used to just be a safe um conservative kind of guy like just basically doing his job and like but now he is just trying things again we've talked about it before he's got like three spinorama goals like he's scoring shorthanded he's scoring one timers like he's scoring every which way um and even when it's not like a highlight real goal a lot of times the goals he's scoring is just from being in the right areas of the ice and like finding quiet ice or just battling in front of that so he's just continuing to evolve his offense and it's just really really encouraging and obviously he gets rewarded he signs he's the first uh elc they signed this season um you know so we'll see what his plans are for next year but um he just had another monster week like three games this week last friday six three win two assists then he put up another assist for vancouver and then six points last night so nine points this week in his last three games um by the way last night he scored three goals on three shots so that's pretty nice and the face-offs he's over like 54 55 percent um, so on the season, now he's got 69 points in 51 games, uh, with 32 goals. So, um, I mean, again, just having a monster year, obviously he's been rewarded a few different times with the contract and then, you know, going to the world juniors and playing every game and being an effective player. So what a season for the kid. Um, and again, he's just, I'm curious how much more there is because like, He's getting better year after year. So obviously, you know, I'm sure if you talk to like Judd Brackett, like a lot of the when you're scouting like players that aren't necessarily gonna go like a you know first round or like top end of the draft, like when it's like middle round guys, you're looking for not necessarily what who the player is or what they are, it's what they what you think they can be. And I mean, again, you're just seeing this trajectory with him right now where it really makes me curious, like just how high up in the lineup could this kid find himself at the NHL level. And he's again, a lot of NHL tendencies, um, smart player gives you a little bit of everything. So uh, definitely not like a one trick pony where he's just all offense juniors and then he's going to do nothing. He'll defend, he'll kill penalties. Like he'll do whatever you need him to do. So he's just having a monster year. And it's been, he's so fun to watch now too. I mean, he's going to carve a path for himself. It's just a matter of how he develops in all those different areas that he touches. It's going to be cool to see. Um, 